Today, I'm going to teach you how to use Body Avatar Drive to make this dancing character. Go to sketchfed.com. I'm going to go search for Adventure Time Finn. And I'm going to use this model again, the model that I always use. Click Download 3D Model and download an OBJ format. Then go to Mixamo.com. Press on the compressed file so that you get it. Click Upload Character. Click on Sources. Drag the fin file. And now it would be uploaded. Once you have it, you're going to try to rig it using their auto rigger. Place these on the body parts. You can look over here to see where you should place individual circles. And once you are done, it is crucial that you don't select the standard skeleton. The number 65 here represents the number of bones. If you select this option, Effect House will not let you import this model into the program. So you got to choose out of these three. My model doesn't have fingers, so I'm going to click no fingers with 25 bones. And then I'm going to go click next. It's going to take a couple seconds to rig. And now I have my ranked model up here. Don't add any animation. Don't click on any of these and just download the rigged character as an FBX. After it finishes downloading, open Effect House and drag your model into the panel. Perfect. If you drag this up to the hierarchy, you can see that our model is here and he's not moving. So I'm going to drag it up so everybody can see, but it's missing the texture. So I'm going to go back to the zip file and drag in the textures from there. And then I'm going to click Add Assets, click Materials, Unlit, click Texture On, add the textures, click on the fin, erase the default, and I'm going to add our unlit material. Now he has color. Perfect. Now I'm going to click Add Objects, and under AR Tracking, I'm going to add Body Avatar Drive. Oops, make sure it's outside of the fin. And I'm going to drag the fin under there. And now you can see that our little fin is following this woman's gestures. But it's quite small, so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to uncheck follow body positions. Then we can scale it up and down using this scale cursor. And we can also drag it down to match the body positions. If you just want them to be on the side like this, you can also use the scale. Later, I will teach you how to do more advanced rigging using Blender. But at the moment, this is what you can do. Thank you so much for watching the tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Have a nice day, guys. Bye.